this is a film to show a few of the alternatives I've come up with to uh, satisfy some of these objectives for this project. Essentially, at the last meeting at your house, we had arrived at the fact uh, that uh, this depth, if we just brought this wall straight across as we had been showing at that time, that the depth in here uh, was going to be far too uh, shallow to store logs, which is what the intended purpose of these, uh, at least this one was. So to accomplish that increased depth, I've left these corners where they were and projected this out. As a result, we have this bump out in here, and in this particular permutation, which hopefully you won't build, uh, since I don't like it, I had added these walls over here because it looked silly with just the one bump on this side. And there were a number of issues uh, that complicated that. But that extra push, getting this wall pushed out to accommodate uh, a deeper log storage area here, uh, begins to encroach on our setback requirements. This is, represents the parallel to the property line. And it didn't matter when the chimney projected back in that space. Uh, that is allowed. But now we're into a piece of the structure. And so I think probably the wise idea is to just uh, pull this back. Yeah, as you see, we're 18.6 and 18 is what's been authorized. So I think we're best served just uh, pulling the entire structure back uh, six inches losing a little bit of space inside that we picked up underneath here to end up with something like that. And again, even though I don't like this one, I uh, ended up not liking it at all uh, because of various issues. There are some photos uh, of what this was looking like inside. I think it would work fine, except I don't really care for those bumps. The one in here is entirely optional, but it looked worse when I didn't have that on either side liked it from the outside uh, fine it did what I wanted to do but in here uh, not so much I like that these that this presentation here each of these columns is is just has enough width on this uh, cap so there's a symmetry as you approach from this side or look at it from that side but inside it wasn't really what I was looking to accomplish or hoping to accomplish to get this uh, wood storage down there. Not to mention these extra corners just create more places where you get dust and unsightliness. So the next thing then was to, because I didn't like those walls at all, uh, I just had to see what would happen if we just tried to eliminate those walls and there were a couple different options to do that. Obviously these ones could go away period. Those are just really more work and, and uh, do nothing really for it. So uh, get rid of those and then push the outer ones this way. Again, I don't want to spend much time on this because some of these are just not uh, worth building to me. And so we had this to this and this is this is not too shabby and I don't really like this overflow here. I don't like that it doesn't sit on its own uh, landing pad. It's kind of flooding over here. And incidentally, I'm assuming I don't show an edge, a tapered edge on this at all, but I'm assuming that uh, Rich will do what it takes to make sure that water's not going to sit here and wick up into these uh, wooden columns. And that it was an improvement from the inside for sure because it made that nice and open and not so ridiculously complex either to build or to clean or to look at so that was a better look uh, but it wasn't completely preferred out here certainly it's a preferred to the very first one next because I didn't uh, care for this notch here doesn't really make much sense I thought well what if we just squared that corner off here how does that look outside and so we went from this to this, which I think is certainly an improvement. I don't, still don't care for this asymmetrical uh, pedestal here, but it's definitely, I think, an improvement over that and certainly an improvement over the one before that. But because I didn't like this uh, situation here, I tried something that 
ended up being terribly ugly, so brace yourself, uh, where I cut this top here where it just provided the same two foot pillar here. And this is, it looks good from here where you can't see uh, that your logs would be sticking out in front of this. This was really just a, an exercise in nothingness and certainly not anything that uh, I'm going to draw for you to build or live with. But notice when I did do that, I also pushed this roof plane out to follow the uh, push of that column. When the column moved out, I pushed that roof plane out as well. Uh, but again, this was ugly. And so it became obvious that uh, that wall would have to come back, that that wall would have to be placed back into play, keep the logs behind it like this. This is still, this continues to improve uh, the look I feel. I don't think this uh, flood over here is anything to object to. It's simple and easy to build. So certainly it was a better look than probably anything that we've looked at so far in this film. I didn't particularly care that it wasn't symmetrical coming from this end or balanced, uh, more balanced in any case. Uh, but it was an improvement over anything uh, that had been shown thus far. But I did want to try one more thing, and I promise this is the last thing I try and settle on this. And hopefully you'll agree. I, I would be willing to draw this one. But I wanted to try one more thing uh, to get that uh, looking a little more balanced from this side, maybe. And really, either of these works for me, and you'll have to decide. I don't want to build anything I've shown you up to this point, except perhaps this one here. Not build, but design. Uh, but I want to try one more thing, and it involved creating separate pillars for these corners. Like this. I don't know, and this goes a little further along, as we go here, I'll, let me show it to you from the inside. Here I'm just showing you that whatever kind of stone, it's been assumed that you use something that's pretty close to what you have out front. However, you really can't see these both at the same time, so you can probably do whatever you like back here in terms of stone. This just shows you some how the size of these stones impacts the look. But this was what that, uh, the elevation view from inside, and here's your uh, dimensioning, where these pillars at the corner come up an extra foot above the rest uh, with roughly five foot columns from this side. And then from in here, this is a quick look at these stones, and we just step through these. This is uh, very more narrow. These are big chunky stones and we get we just step through these from the lit list to the largest and I just picked something in between for uh, these the purposes of this and here you have Walter and Wolford, this guy's six foot six, this one's five foot six, just to give you a feel uh, for scale in here. And then this is the final move I made, which kind of completed the whole thing uh, like this. This is the one I think you should build if it's uh, acceptable to you. Here's a finished photo from the east side, uh, and I'll follow this up with a uh, film turnaround of the inside and the outside.
here's some finished photos of it. So that's where we are. Let me know. It'll only take me a day or so to uh, get the rest of the construction drawings themselves together. If you like this last one, which is going to be called uh, G. So to me, it would either be G or F. So F or G. Let me know. Thanks.